They're still American citizens and they still have no water. We have been fighting to get food and water for them. They're using the drinking water sources that are not safe. They're drinking from rivers. They're drinking from contaminated wells. Yesterday we went to Orokovis and they have not had water. We had a man who has who's paralyzed from the waist down and his mother's in his her 80s who's been trying getting rainwater and giving that because there's nobody that gets in. Leptoporosis, lepto for short, comes from urine and the public health implications are just incredible. There have been people that have died from that here. So we go out into the community, anywhere we see someone taking water from a waterfall or a river, we stop and give them instructions. What they don't understand is that, you know, the hurricane did change things. Waters have become contaminated, animals have died. It's about survival right now. The second wave of disaster will come in diseases infections. We've been all over this island and we know that the suffering is there and it's going to be long term.